Hello gamers and welcome back to another episode of Vigigame Hunting. On this episode we're going to take a look at this big old box of retro games that arrived on my frozen Midwest doorstep all the way from the warm beautiful land of Hawaii. Alright, so basically um, what happened is uh, around the holidays uh, a buddy of mine, friend of the channel, DD Games, he was a YouTuber, um, I don't think he's uploaded in about a year, year and a half, um, but he did have a great YouTube channel. He messaged me, he said, hey look, we're doing some winter cleaning and I've got a bunch of games that I'm fitting out of my collection, would you like them? Which just kind of blew me away. Uh, of course, you know, I said, no, I'll pay you, you know, you don't have to just give them away. And he said, I'm going to donate them anyway. So you pay for the shipping, I'll send them to you. So uh, basically, we, uh, he sent me some pics of what he was getting rid of. I picked out some stuff that I was interested in. He filled in some of the rest and sent this big box of retro games my way. So DD Games, really appreciate it. Thank you. Let's dive right in. I kind of know um, what's in here just because, like I said, I got pictures of this, but I don't know every game that he put in. Uh, so we're going to go right through. Diving right in, I see on top there's something very cool here. Uh, Mortal Kombat Armageddon. So yeah, from Midway. Mortal Kombat Armageddon. I'm sure this was some sort of promo piece with one of the uh, releases, but this is really neat. I love, I love stuff like this. So very cool. Very cool. I did not know that was going to be in there. Uh, first up, get some more packing out of the way. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront for the PlayStation 2. Is this complete? It's very cool. Fun game. A lot better than the new versions. Uh, we've got... An Xbox 360, are you ready? Uh, promo DVD and coupon for the Xbox 360. So, must have been like a launch uh, promo kit sort of thing. It's got stats on the original model of the 360 on the back there. That's very neat. Love that stuff. Anything history wise with gaming is, is cool by me. Okay, this is cool. He showed me a picture of this. I didn't know he was going to include it. Uh, this is a PSP copy of Ratchet and Clank Size Matters. That's what she said! <laughs> this must have been a pack-in one, it's just flat sealed, flat pack. Um, the UMD isn't there though, it's not just a download code. Very neat. Ah, this is cool. So this is a VHS tape of the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. Two Sonic adventures on one cassette. Amazing. Uh, he said he didn't know if this worked, but I don't know if I care. I think it's just neat to have <clears throat> these old Sonic cartoons like this. This is great. All right, some more packing. We'll get that out of the way. And moving on to, it looks like I'll start with some GameCube stuff here. We've got Bomberman Generation. Okay, yep, complete here. This is great. I love, uh, love the GameCube, and this is a game I didn't have. I don't know that these are supposed to be really great. Bomberman games, but it looks like there are some classic elements in a 3D adventure in there, so I'm sure at least the classic mode will be a blast, like it always is with Bomberman, especially with a couple friends. Next up, GameCube, Star Wars the video game, or Lego Star Wars, I suppose. This is complete also, that's awesome. I love these Lego games, they're fun for just killing time, you know, if you want a more casual game, and if the source material is good, it's hard to beat. So we've got another GameCube game, Scooby-Doo Unmasked. This one's disc only. Still cool though, this isn't a game I had in my collection. Another Scooby-Doo game here for the GameCube. Scooby-Doo Night of a Thousand Frights. Again, just disc only, but that's still great. Um, a good game for the GameCube. Now I know some of these um, he had were just case only. I think this might be one. Teen Titans, yeah, so this has case and manual, no disc. I do have this game already though, so that's cool. So if somebody's looking for this, um, has a loose disc, let me know. Some more GameCube. Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, you need the bongos, I believe, to play this, which I do have. Complete, very nice. Um... Fantastic Four for the GameCube. I don't know how good this game is. This movie was terrible, though. 
It's amazing how much better superhero movies have gotten. But I mean, I guess it's got Jessica Alba, so maybe it's a win? I'm not sure. Naruto. Clash of Ninja. This one is complete as well. Very cool. I don't think I've ever played a Naruto game. It looks like just a, a fighting game, which makes sense given the material. Uh, let's move on to a couple interesting games, um, at least for the system that they're on. Uh, nothing special, but it's always nice to get Sega Saturn games. This one is just NFL 97. But honestly, the case is not in the worst shape. A um, little broken hinge to be expected. Now, he mentioned that he wasn't sure if these were going to work. Uh, they're a little scuffed. But honestly, I think these will probably play just fine. And I can have them buffed. And I'm sure they will work uh, perfectly after that. So this is cool. Yeah, so I guess the case isn't in tip-top shape. But honestly, at least it's not completely smashed like a lot of them you find. Uh, here we get another Saturn game. This one is Battle Monsters. No uh, artwork or manual, but the rest of it's here. The back art, uh, the disc. Again, this is scratched, but I'm pretty sure this is just going to play. And with a buffing, it's certainly going to work. So that's awesome. It's always good to add Saturn games. You just don't find them out in the wild. So uh, even if they don't work, I guess I've got a couple cases, which is great. And then this is a really cool one. Uh, this is a long box PlayStation version of Warhawk. So back in the day, the uh, original PlayStation run of games had these big boxes. Um, a lot of this stuff did, you know, Saturn, 3DO. They were all bigger for a while before they went to just the jewel cases. So this is a little harder to find uh, for an early game. And uh, I remember playing this. I don't know if this is held up. We'll have to find out. But Warhawk was a really good game back in the day. Let's go on to PlayStation 2, the Bouncer. So this one I think he just threw in uh, because he had some extra room in the box. And I do not have the Bouncer. I think I had it at one point and I traded it. I think I found it on a garage sale. Um, and I never did play it, so now I, now I have my chance. Uh, some 360 stuff and then a little surprise here at the end. Uh, this one I actually really wanted and I just never picked up. This is the Sega Dreamcast collection on the 360. So it's got Sega Bass Fishing, Sonic Adventure, Space Channel 5 Part 2, which did not come out on the Dreamcast in the US. I think it came out on PlayStation 2 though. Uh, and the original Crazy Taxi. I don't know if these are good ports uh, or not, but I'm a fan of all of these games. So I'm curious on checking this one out. <clears throat> A series that I do really like, we've got Darksiders here for the 360. Um, I did not have this one for the 360. 360 previously, I did have Darksiders 2 though, which I really liked. Uh, so I'm curious to go back to the original Darksiders. I hear a lot of people say uh, that this is the better game, uh, more like a Zelda. And then we've got for the Xbox 360, Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe disc only but that's still cool these fighting games are kind of just fun to see the super moves and things like that uh, so you can't can't beat that and then last up we've got just making sure there's nothing else in the box here um, some really awesome stuff and what kind of caught my eye when he was giving it away is um, some 3do stuff now I never see 3do stuff unless it's at a convention and then it's usually overpriced the 3do is like a really great piece of hardware. Um, it really is a much better console than people ever realized because it just didn't have a chance. But it's always cool to get games for it. So when I can get them, I'll usually pick them up. So here we've got one of them. It's um, Gritters, I believe. Uh, this looks to be like a puzzle game. Uh, it is complete. And it looks like he paid, I don't know if you can see that, 50 cents for these when he picked them up. So that's that's incredible to find a 3DO game for 50 cents. Uh, yeah, this does to be appear to be a, a puzzle game. So we'll have to see what this is all about. Um, another 50 cent sticker on this one. We got Mist for the 3DO. Everybody knows Mist. Mist was a huge, huge deal. Um, if you grew up playing PC in the 90s, this was kind of unavoidable. So it's cool to get a port of this to the 3DO. And this one's got an interesting name. Patonk? 
Uh, it's the first 3D pinball throw ride, it claims. So it looks like you are playing as the ball, I guess, in a giant 3D pinball machine. So this, at the very least, will be interesting. I'm curious as to how a game like this works. Uh, but that, I believe, is the end of this awesome, awesome box of great games. So again, uh, thank you DD Games, I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for continuing to support the channel. Um, even after all these years of me making these terrible, terrible videos. Um, and as always, thanks everyone for tuning in. I will talk to you next time.